What's really good? It's your boy, Spider Minutes, aka D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome back to the Smash Pay Per View Prediction Special. This one for WWE Fastlane happening this upcoming Sunday. Uh, this is your first time checking out the Smash Pay Per View Prediction Special. Here's how it goes we roll around the round table, we give you. Uh, brief updates and news and and any information that we have on any potential feuds for the matchups that we have on the match card. Then we give you our predictions, uh, what we believe the storyline is going to play out, and we move on. That's that, that's how that's how it happens. And why why should you care that that some random folks are are talking about some WWE shit? Um, well, everybody has opinions, and we have a microphone. That's why. That's it. <laughs> So Joining us when tonight. my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Okay, well, they can't. That's why you should listen to the podcast. I, mean, they, they I don't care. I have a microphone so they, I can they, talk they louder than all of you, which is why you should listen <laughs> to our podcast. But they can't see your hand up, so they don't know when to shut. Moving on. We're joined tonight by our resident hero, the domino mask wearing, the indomitable spirit of goodness, which makes me sick as a heel to the core. What's up, King Dead? Hey, what's going on? Uh, see, I didn't, I didn't say say what's up, King Dead. So we yeah, you didn't back. say it. Yeah, oh, ah, ah, I'm learning. It only took me about a year and a half, but I'm learning. We're getting it right. <laughs> uh, so, so as we said, we, we're going to run through this, and it is for uh, Fast Lane. We have the full match card set up right here. We're just going to run right into this. I, I don't think we have anything more to say more no more beans to spill uh on this at all no, whatsoever but, but quick question why is the new day you know what we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip forward we're gonna skip ahead we're gonna skip ahead okay we're gonna start with our two kickoff matches for the evening uh starting us off we have rusev and shinsuke nakamura Versus the New Day. Uh, Rusev and Shinsuke teamed up after R-Truth beat Shinsuke clean for the United States title. And we see Rusev come out. We're expecting like, oh, you know, some 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 beat down on Shinsuke because technically Shinsuke is the reason why Lana was getting hurt. You know, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but no, instead, uh, Rusev decided to challenge our truth, be all mean and, and everything, to to our resident rapper. Uh, he loses his chance at the title, and they decide to beat him up, and they shake hands. So now they're officially a team. Don't know why, but it's a thing. Um, and really, it's not a bad thing. Though. It's not a bad thing. It, it could be good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna down it. I'm not downing it. I'm not downing it. But it's out there. Yeah, I understand. It's out there. So, we have Rusev and Shinsuke versus The New Day. I'm guessing they're going to give Kofi something to do until they figure out whether or not he's going to be meeting up against Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. So, Rusev and Shinsuke versus The New Day. We're going to start with my sister, Daria. <laughs> We're going to start with our hero. You will not get me this time around. You got last time. You will not get me in fast lane. Absolutely not. My sister's pulling rank. Oh, I know. I didn't pull rank. I just told you what was. My sister's deal. pulling rank. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What the deal was. All right. All right. So King Dead. Yo. You're gonna be our first. You're gonna be our sacrifice tonight. Rusev and Shinsuke versus the New Day. Who you got? Hmm. That's a good question. Um. I mean, I think this is stupid to have it on the pre-show with no build whatsoever and no stakes. Yeah. But besides that, um, I'm going to say probably Rusev and Nakamura. Okay. Okay. Daria. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Katie, because like, this is what I was saying in the beginning. This is what gets annoying. Why is this a pre-show? It's the new day. Of versus Rusev and Shinsuke. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty good match. Okay, so the kickoff has to have matches, right? I, I got that. The kickoff has to have matches. 
every single match aside from uh, the Shield versus Baron Corbin, and that's a marquee match, is a championship yeah. match. So, like, I'm okay with this being on the kickoff. I'm more upset about the next kickoff match more than anything. But, did, wait, hold on a second. Did you tell who you, who you got? No, because I, I was frustrated and wanted well, to well, play Well, give game. us that before I go on oh, a tangent. Damn. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. Relax. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to go with Rusev and Shinsuke. Rusev and Shinsuke. All right, I'm 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 cool. With it. I'm I'm calming down. Thank you. I'm calming down, calming my tits, my tits. <laughs> the pectorials. If if Kofi Kingston is in this match in any capacity, New Day wins. Because you cannot break up his momentum. Yeah, that's true. If he's not involved in any capacity, then we can say that the New Day were so distraught by how my boy was treated after 11 years of solidarity and, and and just like being a team player for this company, the way he was stripped of his title shot. The first title, the first legitimate title shot that he's had in 11 years. And that's why I said Rusev and Shinsuke. Be, if he is not involved in this match, I will give it to Rusev and Shinsuke. The reason why? Because this match doesn't matter. Nothing about this matters. It definitively does not matter, save for momentum. And again, as Katie said, there's no build to this. So why should we care, aside from the fact that Kofi might be involved? And if he is involved, he's definitely going to get the win. He's Because you don't, don't want to lose his momentum while you're sitting here Wondering about what's going to happen next. And we're spending way too much time on a kickoff match. So we're going to move on. Okay. I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, next up, we have what should be an amazing, massive, marquee match at WrestleMania. But it's happening on the kickoff show to Fastlane. Again. Rey Mysterio versus Andrade. Uh, really, it's just Rey Mysterio versus Andrade. You don't need to know anything more about this. There doesn't need to be any big overwrought story for this it's just two guys who have been putting on match after match after match classic on free tv and they continue to do it on free tv and youtube on the kickoff show so we're just going to just jump headlong into this who do you have king dead Mm. I mean this is another match why is it on the free show this is like they've been putting on like you know a hell of a good match like for a few weeks now but, I mean, this is like, been a back-and-forth thing. I'm going to say Anaronde wins this one. Okay. Daria? I'm going to say Rey Mysterio. All right. All right, y'all, y'all, just, y'all just throwing out just your answers, like, with the quickness. All right, I uh, see that. I mean, because we're we're trying just, to move. I know we're trying to move it on. Well, I, I, well, I no, agree. no, no, that's not it. It's just with this match, like you said, there really is no storyline. It really doesn't need to be because their wrestling tells you the storyline. Yeah, so they do a lot of great storytelling. It. Right, and they do it in the ring versus on the mic, which yeah. is phenomenal. But then again, it's Rey Mysterio and Andrade, so hey, I, I love how I, really I love how care. you try to roll your R with the Andrade because you can't do it. You're right. You're damn right. I can't, especially can't with this damn but voice that I have right now. Vegas says it. I, I okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what? But Rey Mysterio, plus your nephew loves Rey. Mysterio. Loves him some Rey. Okay, so I'm going to say. This match is going to end in shenanigans and a no contest or a draw. That seems possible, too. The only way, the only reason I can think of you doing a match like this on Fastlane and not Mania after the matches that they have been putting on is if you find some way that to make this the most unclean ending between these two that prompts say like a two out of three falls match or an iron man match at wrestlemania in terms of like my fantasy booking that's that's the only thing that that makes sense to me otherwise if you decide hey it's just Rey mysterio versus andrade uh at wrestlemania and it's a regular ass match you could have just not had them on the pre-show gave two other people uh some 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 play on a match who you know that they haven't been around on and just like saved it for later you you run the risk of running this 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 chemistry that they have between these two 
just like down to the point that we don't care when it does ultimately reach ahead. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the only, that's the, that's the biggest problem that I have with this. So it has to end unclean. There has to be like some disqualification, a uh, double count out, uh, like they did with Keith, uh, with Keith Lee and, uh, Dijakovic on NXT. It's got to be something like that that's going to happen at Fastlane. That's the only thing that makes any sense. And I think with Selena being involved, it's it will be, it will be something. It's Selena. True that. True that. And I, I think with that, you're right. I think it is going to be some type of shenanigan. And I'm like with you, hoping I get that orgasmic chance to see them on WrestleMania. We need to find you a new word. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, I that's what I'm hoping for, and that's what I'm praying Selena does. I'm really hoping she gets involved some type of way. Which, if I know Selena, she will. All right. All right. Cool. We're gonna move on to the matches that actually freaking matter in this world, in the WWE. We have a. One second, I have, I have to count these off real quick because because for some reason my eyes just had to readjust. Triple threat match. There you go. Almost said fatal four way for no reason. Triple threat okay. match for the Raw Tag Team Titles. It's Chad Gable and Bobby Roode, and it looks like they're turning heel ish, heel adjacent. Which you know I'm always encouraging, even though I was hoping more for Bobby Roode turning on Gable and you know. Letting Gable be the babyface singles competitor. But, you know, I'm cool with this story for right now. And we have the NXT call-ups, Aleister Black and Ricochet, who have surprisingly good chemistry with each other. I was not expecting that. I thought, yeah. you know, these these yeah. tag team matchups between them would just be like, okay, we're, we're, we're putting, like, two kind of sort of flippy guys together and just seeing where it goes. Like, no, they have some no, genuine yeah. chemistry. Yeah, they work very well together. They work well together. And we have The Revival, the team that complained their way into a tag team title. I'm kidding. I love The Revival. Y'all deserve your roses. But, like, I don't know how I feel about this matchup, mainly because, like, we we should be building up other teams on Raw instead of feeding them to heavy machinery to be beaten in a one-sided gauntlet match. But that's my issue with WWE's booking. KD, who you got in this triple threat? Oh boy, this is like you know one of these another one of these arbitrary matches where I'm not even sure who's going to win at this point. But I think the revival are going to come out of it, tag champ still. Okay, Daria. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to. Well, okay. Here's my thinking. Okay, go for it. Give Bear us your with fantasy me for book. A second. I would like Alistair and Ricochet to get it. However, they're too new to have the championships right now. So I know they're not going to get it. Um, I kind of like having Chad Gable and Bobby Roode having the championship, especially if during this match, something, some type of shenanigan happens that they turn full heel, then they're going to be like unsufferable having a freaking championship around their waist. <laughs> but I would have to agree with KD and say the revival are going to retain. Okay, so when when you said that that maybe having them turn full heel, it just reminded me of that time when uh, the New Day wasn't getting cheered and and Xavier Woods cheated against the 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 Lucha Dragons to get their win, and they basically just had the reaction of like, oh, so we're bad guys now, huh? Uh, I see that that might happen. Yeah. Because you do have these super new faces in Black and Ricochet yeah. coming in. So, they, so like, you know, having Gable and Rude play spoiler in this match would be perfect just to just say, you know what? Forget it. They're full heel now. Uh-huh. And it's not like Gable hasn't done it before. He did it with Shelton Benjamin, who I'm trying to figure out where the hell he is because I miss you, Shelty B. I love yeah. you, boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I give it to The Revival because that seems like something that would happen. Like the revival would know how to stay on the margins and let these two teams beat each other up. Yeah. And just like sneak in there and get the win. And it would, it would make Ricochet and black just furious and frustrated. And it would really piss off rude and Gable because like, you know, it just, just to have him push them over the edge. 
So yeah. I, I give it to the Revival. I'd say the Revival retains yeah. on this one. Moving on, we have the SmackDown women's title, Mandy Rose versus Milk Carton Girl, Asuka. Oh, I say Milk Carton Girl because she's been missing <laughs> for large swaths of time from SmackDown television for no freaking reason. Actually, it is a reason. What's the reason? Well, the big team players right now have been on Raw, which is Charlotte and Becky. Eh. So, unfortunately, Asuka got caught up in this. So, that's why I'm thinking we got this Mandy Rose versus Asuka feud going on right now. I might be wrong, but I'm thinking right now, which is unfortunate, but the biggest players for SmackDown is on Raw right now. Okay. I I agree partly with you. Okay. The problem I have is when you have two shows with distinct rosters and you have a roster size this large, you have to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. So if you have all of your big people chasing a championship, which is what happens on Raw a lot, yeah, where they're chasing one championship, you have to be able to divert all of your attention uh, enough of your attention to another championship or else it, we see what happens with Oscar just being a wall. Yeah. And that's not fair to her. It's, it's not, not fair to the fans, but it's damn sure not fair to her. Yeah. It's not, you know, um, I, I, I can't, I can't see how you have like five hours worth of on TV screen time wrestling in the WWE, an additional hour in 205 Live, an additional hour in NXT, an additional hour of NXT UK. That's eight hours of wrestling programming. Yeah. And you can't fit in a segment to let us know what's happening with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah. Like that, like I, I would agree if it was a smaller organization. I would agree if this was a new organization. But WWE has to be able to do this. Otherwise, cut down Raw, cut down on your championships, and keep it moving. Who, who, okay, so besides Charlotte and Becky, who else is on the SmackDown roster? You have Sonya Deville. You have Mandy Rose. You have Carmella. You have Naomi. You have the Iconics. Hell, you could throw uh, uh, Lacey Evans into it, have her stop coming down and walking back up, and have her actually get in the ring. Mm -hmm. You have a host of people. That you could throw so in. So why Mandy Rose versus Oscar? Nikki Cross. She's there now. Yeah, because uh, Nikki Cross versus Oscar would probably actually be a good goddamn match. Oh God, it would be. We're, I'm gonna get frustrated, so I'm gonna yeah. move. I'm gonna move on to the selection I, I, phase. I got it. <laughs> uh, KD, who you got? Mandy Rose versus Oscar. Ah, uh, Oscar. <laughs> Daria. I don't know. I, I'm torn between this one because I keep hearing that Vince is super, super duper, duper duper high on Mandy Rose. And I just think it's going to be some bullshit that she wins. Which pisses me off because I feel like it downgrades Asuka. Oh, a lot. And mm-hmm. Asuka is a freaking fantastic wrestler. I'm not saying Mandy is not. Mandy's a good wrestler. She's an awesome heel. I mean, yeah, Mandy's come but, along, but she's not at Oscar's level. Thank you. She's nowhere at Oscar's level. Nowhere. So you got Oscar? I don't know. I I'm gonna say Mandy Rose because <coughs> she's oh, bullshit. okay, okay. That's why. And Vince is so high on her. It, it would just be easy allegedly. To give it to allegedly, Mandy you got to throw some allegedly's on there because you know it's dirt street. You, you go. You could say that because like that's what I'm thinking, and I'm it's pissing me off. So just. Go to you. Go to me. Yeah. Whether he's high on her or not, you don't take the title away from Asuka prior to WrestleMania. You don't take the title away from Asuka on only her second defense of the championship on the main roster. And Mandy Rose is good, but I don't think she's beat Asuka clean good. Like Mandy Rose is beat Asuka in a triple threat match by pinning somebody else good. Mandy Rose is put pushing Oscar off the top rope onto a table in a championship table match. Good. Or doing what Carmella did with Charlotte. Nobody's doing that. 
when she had money in the bank. I'm, I'm just thinking. Or, I'm just or, or that. Yeah. Or that. money in the bank. Yes. Yeah, or money in the bank. Good. But but, just but to, not just straight up no. beat Oscar good. I, I I can't I can't see how she's beat Oscar good clean one on one. So like I want Mandy to chase Oscar the same way that Mandy was harassing Naomi, uh, about you know Jay her husband's Jay right? No Jimmy. Jimmy about harassing Jimmy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get I get a mix. I, I'm gonna move on. Move on. I move on. Harassing Jimmy uh, just to ruin her marriage. The same way that Mandy could do that, Mandy can do the same thing for Oscar. Not, you know, harassing somebody for a marriage, but just completely hounding Oscar. Do that. Have her chase the title for a while. Make it more meaningful if she wins. Tell a story with it. But you yeah. don't just yank it away from Oscar. I'm choosing Oscar for yeah. this. We're going to move on to the first ever title defense for the. Women's Tag Team Championship. We have Nia Jax and Tamina. Talk me not. I think she's changed her music. She I did, think. but I will not stop it. Okay. <laughs> Versus Sasha Banks and Bayley. Uh, this is storied, if only for the reason that Nia Jax and Bayley and Sasha Banks have a long history stemming all the yeah. way back to NXT. So, like, this could end up being a pretty damn good match. Um... You know, whether you're whether or not you're high on Nia Jax or Tamina's ability in the ring, I don't see why you wouldn't be because they're solid. They're solid. And sometimes that's all you need is solid if somebody else on the on the uh in the other corner is good or great. Yeah. Bailey and Sasha Banks are good and great. Yeah. So this could be a good to great match with a proper story told. You have two powerhouses in Nia Jax and Tamina versus the fan favorites in Sasha Banks and Bayley. KD, who you got? King, King, King Dip? Rubman? Hold on one second. K, KD? My boy? He probably, oh, he stepped away from, from the mic for a bit. So we're going to step, we're going to step over here. Okay. And throw it to um you. Okay. Uh I am going to probably say something that will be said as completely disrespectful. But hmm. can can I say that Nia Jax uh has gotten better in the ring? No, she Nina? hasn't. <laughs> oh, KD, I was trying. Uh, and there he is. <laughs> I was trying to push that. Okay. Uh, I think Sasha and Bailey are gonna retain. <laughs> I can't say anything more. I was trying to push something, but I quickly uh got shot down on that one. So I'm gonna let it stay there. All right, all right. King did. Uh, Sasha and Bailey are gonna retain. See, see, that's 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 all we need. Just just a quick, just a quick run through. Just pow pow. Yeah. Just gonna hit you two times. What the It's really not much with this. Match. Yeah, Sasha mm. Banks and Bailey. I, I again I say this might be a very good match. No, it won't. I'm not saying <laughs> Bruh. I think he's telling us to let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, we're gonna have to I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna fight you on this. I'm not fighting you on this. I am not fighting you on this. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next match. Another tag team match. SmackDown tag team titles. It's very tag heavy now that I think about it. Yeah. yeah we got we got three tag titles. Yeah. We have The Miz and Shane McMahon versus the champions, The Usos. Usos won the championships back at, shit, what was the last one? Elimination Chamber? Was that the last? The last yeah, that was the last pay-per-view. Oh, yeah, yeah, Elimination Chamber. Yeah, they, yeah. they beat uh, uh, Miz and Shane McMahon at Elimination Chamber, which surprised the hell out of me. I, I had, you know, The Miz and Shane holding on to I the did, titles for a while. I did, too. Like, that kind of threw me off for a minute because like they had just won the title and then they yeah. lost it yeah they, they lost it i mean like it, it's yeah. not like they, it's not like they lost it to a bunch of jabronis so they lost well, it to no. the usos right I, I mean i'm fine as to who they lost it to i'm just surprised that they lost it yeah i feel you i feel you um miz and shane you know they've been doing their i'm trying to make my pappy happy <laughs> all of that stuff happening you know trying to trying to make my daddy happy by having the titles lost the titles I don't know where they're going with this. And that's not a bad thing to say. It's legitimately not a bad thing to say. If only because, like, 
I'm half expecting The Miz to just turn on Shane, but I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the purpose? Like, what's the reasoning behind that? And I'm trying to construct and do my fantasy booking in my head to figure out how that would work because, like, it's something that I want to see. I want to see The Miz turn on Shane. And there's also rumblings that the Usos might be heading out of WWE. Why? You know, they're 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 having their contract negotiations, so we don't know what they're doing either. So like it's 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 sort of a a fun situation to be in right now where you're unsure and that uncertainty works. So we're just gonna jump into this. Uh King Dead, who you have, Miz and Shane versus the Usos for the SmackDown tag team titles. I think it'll be the Usos. So. All right. Something's going to bust up Miz and Shane. I mean, they've been telegraphing this with the whole being in Ohio, Miz's hometown, his dad's going to be there and everything else. They're going to have their breakup here to set up WrestleMania is my guess. You know what? I'm with you on that. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. I'm I'll with take the Usos. that. I'll take that. Yeah. You got the because, Usos? Yeah, because the one thing I did learn about the WWE Universe, even though you're in your hometown, it does not mean you're going to win. Oh, yeah, true. And they like to make an ass out of you. They, they are. Okay. Um, as I said, I'm trying to figure out a way to make this work in my head. I don't know what the reasoning will be. And I can't give you no guarantees. I will, however, say, in my opinion... You're going to see Shane inside the ring waiting for one of the Usos to get up. The Miz has been laid out. The other Usos has been laid out. And as he's sitting there getting ready, the camera's going to pan over to the Miz's father as they're about to take the titles away and miss his hometown. And as they pan back, Miz is going to slide inside, hit Shane with the Skull Crusher finale, and walk his happy ass on up the stage as the Usos pin Shane one, two, three. And we're going to be sitting here waiting until Tuesday to figure out what the hell happened. Okay, I'm, I'm confused by that scenario because what would Miz benefit from that scenario? I'm saying like, you know, they're basically telegraphing that there there is going to be a turn. Okay. I don't know why it would happen. I I don't know when it would happen. But like, in my opinion, that may, if it does happen, if there is a turn, that's how you're going to see it. That's how it's going to play out. If there is a turn. But regardless, I'm still picking the Usos. Yeah, I just don't see that. Okay, I see. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to move on. Cause I don't know. It's fantasy booking yeah. for a reason. It, it may never happen. Then again, sometimes you're right. Yeah. Sometimes you're right. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have a, a... match we really don't care about. Yeah, we we have a, a nothing match, but a nostalgia... A, a nostalgia. A nostalgia nothing match. Uh, the Shield versus... <sighs> Baron Corbin. Okay, I should take back what I just said because the Shield did just get back together. Roman Reigns is uh, in remission from his leukemia, which I am so happy and I'm so glad he's back. But I still don't care about this match. Yeah, I, I don't care about this match. I will watch this match. I'll watch it. I, I will watch the Shield get a win that, you know, is just going to win. Like, you know, it's going to happen. Yeah, but I don't care about this match. Yeah. So we're just gonna move on. KD, who you got? Mm. I so <laughs> don't care about this match. Shield. <laughs> <laughs> I go with KD Shield. Frick it, Shield. The only the only good things about this match have nothing to do with the other three contestants. No, it doesn't. Has absolutely nothing to do. Because, first of all, Brock Lesnar shouldn't have the universe. See, this is how Brock Lesnar screws everything. He shouldn't have the title because Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre should be chasing him for the freaking title. Yeah, not teaming up with Baron Corbin's for, bitch ass. For bullshit that Baron Corbin can't even get right. He can't even put on his underwear correctly, but you want to have a match with a shield to show how large your penis is? Go frick yourself, dude. Seriously. Don't know how we got there. He's irritating. Is he not irritating to everybody else? Mm -hmm. He's freaking irritating me. Okay, okay, okay. And it's making me mad that you're adding Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre to this shit because they can wrestle. Let him do this crap on his own. What the hell? And then you got freaking Leo Rush coming in with his annoying little voice. What the shit? 
Oh my god, my sister's got thoughts. She's got thoughts. I, I'm sorry. As I was saying, I the only interesting see. parts to this is Roman Reigns coming back. Yay. Dean Ambrose possibly leaving, which I'm not sure if that's going to be the case because, like, how often does WWE pull out the the real freaking name months before somebody leaves the company? Like, never. So I don't know if that's actually going to happen or what. He might take some time off. Maybe he's leaving. Maybe he's not. I don't know. And Seth Rollins doesn't deserve to be shuttered into the storyline. But since it's the Shield, hey, whatever. Forget it. It's the Shield. We're going to move on to the two matches that actually freaking matter on this card. Not the past match. That match don't matter. We're going to move on. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. I have some thoughts on this. I think we all have thoughts on this. Oh, boy, I have some thoughts on this. I think we all have thoughts on this. So, 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 let's talk about Ronda Rousey. Katie, did you see that? I did. Oh my God. So Ronda Rousey on video. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is, what's, yeah. Yeah. On her vlog on YouTube, Ronda Rousey says, and, I, and I'm quoting this. I'm not going out there and doing their effing act anymore. I'm going out there and doing whatever the hell I want. And they can explain it however they want, but F them, everybody, WWE Universe included. I meant that I'm going to disrespect the sport that they all love so much. Oh, don't break kayfabe, Ronda. Wrestling is scripted. It's made up. It's not real. None of those bitches can effing touch me. The end. That's your Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. Now, of course, I don't think that this is a shoot. I'm not that much of a freaking mark. This this has to be a work. And that's the <laughs> only way that this works out. I mean, it's but stupid, but yeah. It's stupid. That's it's awesome. that, The reason why I said it can't be a shoot is because it's so dumb, it sounds like something WWE would do. Already, already, they are damn near about to exhaust all of the goodwill and energy behind the Becky Lynch-Ronda feud on Twitter. It's almost reaching that point. It's almost at that point where you just stop caring because it's like, okay, these Twitter barbs are funny and everything, but um, you, you might want to let it cool for a minute until we actually get to the freaking match. Yeah. It's almost at that point. And then they jump the freaking shark by having Ronda Rousey say all of this. And having the Twitter world up in a storm to be like, you know, you're not that strong. Somebody should uh, somebody should do to you what Holly Holm did. Yada, 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 <laughs> yada, yada, freaking yada. None of this freaking matters. The match, however, does matter. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. If Becky wins, she is in the WrestleMania match, which turns it into a triple threat, which I'm sorry. I hate to say this, but really, this just made the second women's Royal Rumble in WWE history not freaking matter because the winner has to fight to be in a guaranteed Royal Rumble, uh, WrestleMania main event. Mm -hmm. I know what it, what it is. I know storyline. Yes, she pissed off the wrong people, the authority, her, but her, 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 who cares? She won. She should be it. There should be no caveats with winning the Royal Rumble. No. And there are. This is going to be a good match. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm even going to enjoy the storyline. But in the back of my head, my logic center is going, this doesn't make any sense. So so it's not a guaranteed WrestleMania main event now. They've done it with the Men's Royal Rumble. They they only let one non-crunchy-ass non, uh, uh, Royal Rumble happen for the women before they started futzing around with, with the stipulations of the match. So I'm going to move on. KD, who you got? Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. I don't. Uh, Becky. <laughs> you are the most non-enthusiastic person for this fast lane. It makes sense. You, it's you like they have right all there. these good right. potential things, but then they just hose it up completely. Yeah, I'm with like you, you on that. you just said, especially with the Twitter beef that Rhonda put out or supposedly put out to sound like an asshole. And to make you just dislike her completely now, you're just like, okay, well, well, screw you, Ronda Rousey, because, like, I take this shit serious. 
Like, yeah. All right. Because I'm about to that point and I hate it because Becky, the man, is freaking killing this shit. She's killing this shit. And now you want to taint that? Yeah, they're, they're kind of tainting it. I got Becky. <laughs> I got Becky because it's the only thing that makes sense. Because I don't see how you have Charlotte win this. Because if Charlotte wins this and you still find a way to get Becky involved, and that's the it. dumbest shit ever. Don't do that. If Charlotte wins this and you have Becky fuck back off to SmackDown, why? Mm-hmm. That's wasted momentum. You could have just had her with Asuka for the SmackDown women's title. Yeah. I mean, I've just and basically just... poured water on everybody at this point. Yeah. 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 So, like, I, I, I care because I'm going to enjoy this match. I care because storyline, it fits. I don't care because WWE can fuck up a wet dream. They already doing it. Becky, final match of the night. A match which, again, you know what? I'm with you, KD. I don't know how many times I said this match is going to be good to great to decent, and I just don't care. Yeah. Like, how do you, your business, okay, scratch that. Your business is technically to make TV shows. Your business is not wrestling. You're making TV shows with wrestling as as you know the uh, the medium, but you're making TV shows. Right. That that's 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 WWE's business right. is making entertainment. They don't give a shit about wrestling. I I say that as a jaded. Ooh, excuse me. That's the you know that's Vince trying to strangle me from you know from the beyond. Um, but I say that as a jaded asshole. That, like, if you had a choice between something that was entertaining and just some good wrestling, you're going to pick the former more than the latter. Mm -hmm. And it's showing because these are some great matches that you could just let speak for themselves. But the story that leads up to them is so convoluted. It's so telegraphed. Or it just, you know, doesn't make any goddamn sense. Or we just stop caring because you, you pumped it so much that we just... Just check out. Just mentally check out. Our next match is 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 Kevin Owens versus the new Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan just straight up killing it, being being the awesome asshole. If you haven't been to WWE's YouTube page, go there, listen to what he said after the camera stopped rolling on SmackDown. That was an amazing promo. He's great on the mic. Give it a shot. Kevin Owens comes back. And I don't know how you can legitimately root for Kevin Owens in any of this because he's being given the spot that Kofi earned, rightfully earned. So how do you root for Kevin Owens in this? Kevin Owens is not the bad guy in this, but he's an instrument of the bad guy. Yeah, That's what's happening. This match is going to be phenomenal. This is a dream match that people have wanted to see for some time. Has has Daniel Bryan fought Kevin Owens since he's came back? I think maybe once or twice. But this time it actually matters. So yeah, I'm I'm in, I'm ready for this. But again, at the same time, I don't care. So King Dead, who you got? I don't even care about this match as like interesting as it could be, just because, you know, this was more water pouring, it felt like. Uh yeah. I mean, yeah. there's no anything like I have zero investment in this because we had no build. I mean, no story, no nothing. It was just surprise. He's here. He's the uh, number one contender now. Uh, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> Daria, who you got? Daniel. Damn. W. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go into my rant. I've, I've been ranting this whole time, but I'm gonna go into my final thoughts. Is Daniel? Is Daniel? WWE has poured water on all of their fiery, hot storylines. And they are limping into WrestleMania. We're going to tune in. We're going to cheer. We're going to pop on the road there because the people involved are just that good. Becky Lynch is just that good. Daniel Bryan is just that good. Kofi Kingston is just that good. Andrade and Rey Mysterio, just that damn good. 
that we will still tune in and we will still be given an amazing show. SmackDown and Raw were great heading into this. But the very second that you just think for a moment about the implications of each and every one of these storylines and the way they have been handled, or should I say mishandled, by the WWE has just made us not care about stuff that we were super high on before. Do you know how how insane that is? How disappointing that is. It doesn't make any damn sense. And like I I showed my sister Daria the pipe bomb for the first time. Yeah. yeah. And CM Punk was absolutely freaking right. Vince McMahon is a millionaire who should be a billionaire. I mean he is. Well, he is now because of that deal. But like that that didn't happen because like, you know, he was just like that damn good. It was that happened just because it was like, hey, we want to take SmackDown away from from the NBC networks. That's it. He should be much more successful than he is. The TV ratings should be much more successful than they are. Because there is better wrestling than that than what happened at the height in the Attitude Era. There may not be one singular uh, a Stone Cold Steve Austin or Rock type character in the in the here and now, but yeah. there are a bunch. Like the cream has risen so fruitfully that you may not have somebody at at those two levels, but those are god tier. You're at least at A and S tier with like at a near dozen or two dozen on screen talents. Yeah, but somehow people just don't care and this is a microcosm of that fact we don't care because every time we try to care you do too damn you're too damn extra wwe fix yourself you want me to talk us out uh, yeah I, I think you need to yeah, yeah. let me talk us out. i'm sorry i'm sorry but i'm i'm sorry to derail the whole damn thing that's that's, that's my bad <laughs> As my, I apologize, but damn, pissed me off. As always, you can catch our podcast on iTunes, link in the description below, or at the website at hillkaiju.com. There you can find our shows, articles, and our merchandise to keep this site up and running and to keep us providing you with content. You can also join the Kaiju Wrecking Crew by following us on our Twitter account at hillkaiju, where we'll provide any updates, developments, and insights. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you again for listening. Thank you again, KD, for enduring my rants. Thank you, KD. You are the best. And remember to keep smashing. Bye.